YouTube, welcome back on this Inktober video. Um, well, I didn't mean to do um, a, a daily video for my Inktobers, but I found out that actually I can record them uh, whenever I want. So I, I'm not sure that I will do uh, daily videos. Uh, to be honest, I won't. <laughs> but uh, well, sometimes I, I think I'm just gonna propose you some, some videos from time to time. Well, this one is uh, for day four of my Inktober challenge uh, based on pirates. And uh, this word, uh, this day words is candle. So, well, I drew Iris with a candle. <laughs> I wanted to do this. Um, I was I, actually, I was very eager to do this, uh, this drawing because I had a, a very accurate idea of what I wanted. I search for the poses quite a lot. Um, I sketches about like two pages of poses of thumbnails just to find the right pose, uh, the right angle, the right gesture. And I'm not sure that I did well on this. I think I, I could have pushed it a little bit more, uh, especially with her, her arm that uh, holds the, um, the sword. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure that the, the silhouette is quite uh, readable. Uh, but yeah, I wanted her to, to hold um, a candle like she, she does and uh, like she is walking on exploring some dark places and uh, in the shadows there is this monster that she encounters. Um, to be honest, I didn't know what kind of monster she would encounter and uh, I didn't know if it was, uh, I don't know, like a, a tribal sculpture or something frightening, a little bit more frightening or like a like a skeleton, uh, like in Monkey Island. <laughs> to be honest, like the video game Monkey Island, I think will be my, my main source of inspiration for this, um, uh, for this Inktober, <laughs> well, pirates, you know. Um, so yeah, I, and uh, while I was searching for references on Pinterest, I, f I found out that uh, when you go uh, drawing, and uh, by the way, I don't know who drew who drew this. Uh, I it, it was not written on uh, where I found it, uh, and it's a bumper because I I really wanted to uh, well to to say who who did this because it's a really well really mesmerizing uh, drawing, and I think I, I I will try to find it on on Google. Maybe I will be uh, I will have a little bit. A little bit more chance so yeah so that's a uh, kind of a windy go she's in encounter <laughs> encounters <clears throat> oh by the way um, this piece will not be um, well this video will not be complete because I had a, a trouble while I was editing it I realized that uh, the the footage is uh, like corrupted or something and uh, is not um, complete not completed. Well, it's completed, but my uh, editing program doesn't read everything, so I had to to stop it before it it uh, it ends. Sorry, but uh, you will see the the result at the end. Promise. <laughs> <clears throat> so this piece is a little bit more, um, I guess. Um, how do you say that? Um, well. I wanted to try a little bit more uh, of ink washes, something like that. Um, and uh, I, I really want, I really wanted to it to be like uh, a lot of washes that the monster would be in the shadows and uh, revealing just with the highlights. I'm not sure I succeed, I succeeded with that. I think I, I could have put some more washes just to uh, to put him in more in the shadows. But well, I, it was very the f the first time that I um, I did like washes like that, <laughs> yeah. and uh, well, I'm I'm quite I'm quite happy with the result. But I think I could have pushed it a little bit more. <clears throat> what else could I say? Um, well, as you can see. Um, Iris character design is a little bit more defined. I think I, I like her more now that I'm drawing her than the first one. Uh, she's she looks a little bit more 
I don't know, finished, I guess. Um, so yeah, for me, the, the most difficult in this uh, technique is that I don't know how to, uh, uh, to, man to manage to have the right value with my ink. Uh, you know, the, the, per the percentage of, of water uh, with the ink, uh, how, how much water you put with the, with the ink or how much ink you put with the water. And, uh, and the wash is a technique that, as you can see, I'm not sure I'm mastering. <laughs> you, I don't have, uh, well, I think I, I need to, to experiment a little bit more uh, just to have a, a right uh, wash, uh, like a uniform wash, because you can see there are some, uh, some spots here and there. And I want to have the, the light around the candle a little bit less like uh, um, sharp. But yeah, <laughs> it's not that uh, it's not that easy. I think I, I still have a lot a lot to learn. So I let you there. Well, as you can see, it ends. So here's the results, and I see you for the next time. Bye bye.